A good everyday carry backpack will take you between work and the gym and fit just as well on a day hike as it does on an urban adventure. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at 10 awesome EDC bags for everyday carry. I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, your guide to better gear. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing that bell icon for notifications. All the day packs in this video have been tested by our team and most of them have a full review over on our website, including video. So be sure to check out the links down in the description below if you want to learn more about any one of these bags. Let's pack it up and get it going. We're kicking things off with the Air Fit Pack 3, a great option for hitting the gym after work. This hybrid bag functions as both a gym duffel and a backpack. Lay it down on its back, and you've got the duffel where all your gym clothes go. Or sit it right side up to put your laptop, tech, and daily essentials inside, backpack style. It's got a shoe compartment at the bottom with ventilation holes to let out funky smells. It's big enough to fit a men's size 13, but it does eat up some space from the main compartment, so just keep that in mind. Some gym goers might find this pack a little bit small depending on how many protein shakes and pre-workout tubs that they want to carry along with them. But overall, we found the Fit Pack 3 to be much more convenient than bringing two separate bags or having to stop back at home to change clothes. And if you're jetting off on a trip after a day of work or crushing weights at the gym, there's a luggage pass-through at the back of the bag where you can put the Fit Pack 3 onto a piece of roller luggage for easier transport through the airport. The Boundary Supply Ren and Recycle Day Pack is simple, durable, and it's made with eco-friendly fabric. It takes the classic day pack silhouette to the next level with premium materials like upcycled ripstop nylon and recycled cordura. This fabric contains 42 recycled plastic bottles and Boundary Supply has used this recycled material throughout the entire Renin line. The grab handles and accessory loops are also made of a soft felt material that feels great in the hand. This bag has some interesting organization some good and some bad. The front pocket at the bottom of the bag has both a zipper and a magnet closure. For us, the magnet is strong enough on its own that you can honestly forego using the zipper if you want to be able to access it quicker. Inside the main compartment, it's pretty simple too, with just a laptop sleeve and a few pockets on the front flap. We found them to be a bit floppy when you have heavier gear inside, so just watch out for that. I use this as my EDC bag for two weeks and really enjoyed carrying it overall. The Renin was recommended to us by Pack Hacker Pro member Jeff C. He says it's a solid pick for those who like bags without a ton of organization and prefer to pack their gear into additional pouches instead. A lot of the best recommendations come from our communities, both in Pack Hacker Pro and right here on YouTube. Everyday carry bags and what people pack in them are a big topic of discussion in the pro community with members sharing their EDC dumps. This is a great way to get gear recommendations and find new ways to optimize your pack. Pack Hacker Pro is a community-driven resource for information about gear, packing tips, and more for enthusiasts just like you. Joining Pro gives you access to a welcoming and like-minded community. You'll also get exclusive access to private giveaways for Pack Hacker Pros, members-only content, and our Deals Vault, which feature discount codes from some of our favorite gear brands. Your subscription helps keep our content fresh and interesting as we're an independent company creating unbiased reviews and content just like this video. So check out the link down in the description below to learn more about how to join Pack Hacker Pro. Next on our list is the Able Carry Daily Backpack, which gives us these turtle shell vibes especially in the green colorway. We mean that in a good way, as it's got that classic oval silhouette with polished features. Elastic strap keepers give you a dangle-free experience, and Hypalon zipper pulls help you practically glide the bag open. Our favorite part of this bag is the funky external lash system. You can attach a water bottle or other accessories to the seatbelt-like webbing running along the sides with a carabiner. It's both functional and gives the bag a little style and structure. We also like the vertical zipper on the front pocket. This means you can just swing the bag around to the front and access your items easily without taking it off. The main compartment has some interesting organization, including the device pocket on the front flap. We did have some issues with a few of the internal pockets feeling a bit loose, but your mileage may vary depending on the gear you're carrying. Check out our full review for more insight on that. 
The Tom Bin Luminary 15 is a unique pack with features we haven't seen on many other bags. The internal water bottle pocket sleeve acts as a divider for the main compartment, and deep side pockets give you plenty of space for small items. There's also four O-rings located throughout the bag, so you can customize it how you want with additional organizer pouches. We love how Tom Bin incorporates all these small features that just make the Luminary better to use every day. The bag looks small at first glance, but seeing the amount of stuff you can fit inside here is like pulling a rabbit out of a magician's hat. When our staff writer, Randaya, tested this bag, she found that it fit her daily essentials perfectly. That includes a 13-inch laptop, notebook, water bottle, jacket, snacks, earbuds, and cables. While she likes how much this bag can hold, these side access pockets make it a little bit weird to access the main compartment. These asymmetrical pockets interrupt the zipper so it unzips higher on one side and lower on the other. It takes a while to get used to. The Luminary also comes in a 12 liter size, which is suitable for smaller wearers who want a little bit less space. It probably won't take you comfortably from work to the gym due to its smaller size, but it's pretty awesome for your daily essentials. The Bellroy Transit Work Pack is right at home in more professional office environments. It has the streamlined Bellroy look that we've come to love. Plus, the soft canvas-like material and leather accents give it a subdued, premium aesthetic. Hidden water bottle pockets keep the bag low profile and clean. Though the water bottle pockets can be tricky to access, we like how they don't stick out on the sides of the bag. Beyond being good looking, the Transit Work Pack has some thoughtful organization. The front pocket is discreet and more spacious than it looks. On the top of the bag, there's another pocket designed to keep glasses out of the crush zone, as Bellroy puts it. It's also a good spot for any quick grab items. The structured main compartment is like a huge bucket and it's easy to pack. It opens up clamshell with space for a packing cube if you need one and even a packable jacket or sweater. Plus the stretchy mesh that Bellroy uses on the internal pocket is luxurious and incredibly soft to the touch. Bellroy uses some of our favorite mesh that we don't see a lot of other brands use and it really adds to that upscale feel. The Evergood Civic Panel Loader 28 is the highest rated bag on this list. The spacious main compartment with clamshell opening can fit several days worth of clothing. So this functions really well as an everyday carry backpack or short-term travel backpack, or maybe even long-term if you are a really minimalist packer. Plus the leader independent pockets mean that you can pack them out and not worry about them competing for space. The sheer size of this bag is not the only thing that sets it apart though. The shoulder straps curve to fit the shape of your body and the flexible fabric at the top of the back panel contours around your upper back, which we haven't seen on many other bags. For taller people like me, the longer back panel of the CPL 28 provides a comfortable fit. At 6'2", it can sometimes be a challenge to find an EDC bag that sits comfortably on my longer torso. If you're a shorter or just want a smaller bag, you might want to check out the 24 liter size of this pack. Check out our website for more information on that, as well as a comparison video on the 24 liter and the 28 liter versions. Next up, we have the Mystery Ranch Rip Ruck 24, which as the name suggests, you can literally rip open. Beefy YKK zippers and magnets make this all possible without any damage to the zipper tracks. The ripping isn't quite as smooth as we'd like on some pockets, but it's still really satisfying to do. It's all about easy access, as you can get to your quick grab items in a GIF. The Rip Ruck is organized into two main compartments. There's the roomy front pocket and the actual main compartment. The front pocket is deep enough for a water bottle and makes for a good place to carry your lunch. While the main compartment offers a laptop sleeve, extra device panel, and free space for bulkier items. Thick, spongy foam on the Rip Rucks harness system make it very comfortable to carry. We'd even say it's overkill for a bag of this size. Case in point, the back panel has some extra padding near the bottom for lumbar support. I did have some unfortunate back sweat after a long bike ride in hot weather, so that's just something to note. There is no mesh on the shoulder straps or back panel of this bag. You may know Yeti best for their drinkware and coolers, but they've got some solid everyday carry backpacks as well. At the time of this video, the Crossroads Collection is their newest line of bags. It features a 35, 27, and the baby of the bunch, 22 liter backpack, which our staff writer Lauren has tested for three weeks. There are a couple of different ways to access this bag. First, a horseshoe zipper at the top, which is kind of small. Second and third, zippers on each side of the bag, which Yeti calls side hustle pockets. Weird name, but basically you can flip the bag to your front for quick access to the main compartment or side water bottle pocket. 
Lauren has a love-hate relationship with the Flip Top Vault Pocket. It offers more space than most quick grab pockets and it's conveniently located on the top of the bag. But if overloaded, it can get unwieldy, making top access difficult. The bag can also sag and buckle in the middle, even with Yeti's durable, thick, tough skin fabric. Despite a couple of nitpicks, we dig this bag's unique access system and funky pocket names. The GR1 Slick is a cleaner version of the classic GORUCK GR1, which is pretty legendary in the EDC community. We dig the more streamlined look of the GR1 Slick as it can blend in well on city streets and nature trails. This exclusive GORUCK and Huckberry collab is a straight up minimalist but rugged pack that you can customize as you see fit. There's no PALS webbing on the outside like we're used to on other GORUCK bags, but there's some on the inside for you to attach Molly accessories to. The main compartment is just a wide open space without a ton of organization, so you can pack whatever pouches you'd like to carry. And unlike most other bags in this video that can only hold smaller devices, this big boy can fit up to a 17 inch laptop. With all those extra pouches and a bigger laptop inside, the GR1 Slick can become packed out pretty quickly. That's why we like to use the internal pocket for our quick grab items, since it's got more space than the front slash pocket. Just zip the main compartment down halfway for easy access. Plus the heat shrunk paracord zipper pulls don't make any noise when you're using them, making this the quietest and stealthiest bag on this list. Hitting us with the heritage vibes is the Track Banach. The dry finish wax canvas is durable and feels smooth with a classic aesthetic. It looks simple on the outside, but once you open it up, there's a ton of organization going on. In the front, there are two pockets to keep your small quick grab items organized. There's a document folder behind that for a tablet or notebook, and it can even fit a laptop. We're loving the bright orange interior for high visibility too. Nothing is worse than having a sea of black gear in a black bag with a black liner. The main compartment has ample space as well. You can easily fit in gym clothes, snacks, and a packing cube or two for a short trip if you really wanted to. Plus, there's a dedicated laptop sleeve in here, but we like keeping all of our work gear in the organized front pocket so it's all in one place. Though we wish it was easier to access the quick grab pockets and the water bottle pocket is a little tight, we still love the Track Binox throwback style and premium build quality handmade in Scotland. So there you have it, 10 everyday carry backpacks whether you're exploring the city or just going from work to the gym. We would love to hear what your favorite EDC backpack is down in the comments below, so please let us know what you're carrying on the daily. And if you wanna learn more about any of these bags, make sure to check out the full reviews over at packhacker.com. We'll leave links down below too. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to better gear. We'll see you in the next video.